My friends, before we get into this video, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I also hope you are spending it with family and friends. It has absolutely been a rough year for many people, and I hope we can all continue to push through these times together and make sure we keep what matters in front of us. I appreciate each and every one of you, and the continued support on this channel means the world to me, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you once again and wish you an awesome, awesome day. Alright, I don't want to keep you all here too long, but this is definitely something I want to point out, and some of the timing of these situations is very interesting, and I'd really like to see what you guys think about this. We're going to check it all out right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> Alright everybody, welcome back. It is Christmas Day, 12.06 p.m. December 25th, 2021. I want to talk about something that has to do with Christmas, as you can see on your screen, the Christmas Comet. Now why is this so interesting? Well, for one, this comet comes around every 80 thousand years. This is actually going to blow some of you away if you know what I'm talking about, but Comet C slash 2021A1 or Comet Leonard. Yes, the comet's name is Leonard, and I'll get into the significance of that in just a second, and also being called the Christmas Comet. Why? Because we can see it during the holiday season, 80,000 years after it was said to be in the skies over Earth, and will be visible throughout the United States through the rest of this year. In fact, basically every major news outlet has posted some sort of article on the Christmas Comet. I'll make sure to link a lot of these in the description box of the video, but something else very significant over the last few days has taken place when it comes to comets, asteroids, or space rocks was the release of a dark satire movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence called Don't Look Up. Now, I've spoken about this movie in the past because it was being put out to the public at the same exact time was the launch of one of the biggest NASA missions ever, and that involved basically the movie Armageddon coming to life. I'm going to read this to you very quickly. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying NASA's double asteroid redirection test or DART spacecraft has launched from the Space Launch Complex in California. Now I want you to notice the dates here. This happened a month ago on November 23rd and that happens to be exactly when they started advertising this movie that did not come out in theaters mind you. This is on Netflix streaming for those of you that have it and I made a few videos talking about the timing of it and why a movie about an asteroid with a hundred percent chance of hitting Earth is being put out as a satire movie while NASA is literally telling the public in all sorts of ways that it's time for us to go launch rockets into space and blow up asteroids as an Earth defense system. And I just want to be very clear here. I'm just making some connections here and having a little fun with this. But at the same time, I am throwing this out there to you for your opinion. What do you think this all means? To go through the timeline and to put this all together, just think about this for a second. So for months, NASA starts talking about the double asteroid redirection mission or DART. We started covering that on the channel. You can basically jump online anywhere and find different diagrams and explanations about exactly how they're going to do this or what they're doing to deflect the path of an asteroid. You can see right here even NASA's talking about the movie Armageddon, which was basically that situation. An asteroid heading towards Earth with a 100% chance of impact, just like in the movie Don't Look Up, which then began being advertised at the same exact time that NASA started talking about the launch mission. So you guys know me, that immediately got my spidey senses going, and I made some connections with the NASA mission and the movie alone, but now we need to throw something else in the mix, and that's the fact that we are being revisited by a comet from 80,000 years ago that just happens to have the name Leonard. You know, kind of like Leonardo. I was able to watch some of the movie last night before I fell asleep, so I will go ahead and finish it, and I gotta say, it's definitely good. Even though it's satire and it's a dark comedy, it really is a lot of fun to watch, and once we get through the holidays and stuff like that, I'm sure we're gonna spend plenty of time breaking it down. I know most of you have a ton going on for the next week or so through the holidays, but I promise you I'll be right here to bring you any information or significant things that you need to know about this world. And I just want to thank you all once again for the continued support on this channel. It means more to me than I could ever explain. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Christmas. I will be back tomorrow with another video, and I hope to see you all there. Take care, be safe, stay warm. Shout out to Canada, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Take care, bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.